So that's basically what it sounds like. It's like this. If I'm feeling horny, maybe I call it like the tail end of a tampon commercial. There's no going back for me. I gotta jerk it. I'm human, bro. Like apes and baboons and shit. All right, so you call it the tail end of a tampon commercial yeah. and you're horny now. Correct. What's next? Um, internet porn. Gotta consult my flow chart. Boom. Should I jerk off? Is anybody home? Yes. Are they awake? Yes. It's okay. Pop in your headphones. You're gonna jerk off. Do I have time? No. What do I have to do? I have to pick up my sister from school. Is it important? Yes. No, it's not. You still got time. You're jerking off. Do I need to? No. What are you, gay? No. Then jerk off, pussy. You're jerking off. Yes, I am gay. Well, you're in luck. Gay guys still jerk off. You're jerking off. Now, if you didn't notice, no matter what, you're gonna jerk off. I like to ease into it with something light, a few photos, a couple videos, and before you know it, I'm knee deep in a pop-up live chat with a 45-year-old Asian woman. How'd you get there? Um, well, she popped up behind my browser, and I started hearing noises. Ah! Oh, no! You are gonna make me square! Oh, 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 oh. I was, I was confused, and then I was intrigued, and then horrified, and then intrigued again. And that's how it happens. That's the cycle. There are two cycles in life. The porn cycle and the bi cycle. Porn's a gateway drug, bro. Start out with a little innocent girl on girl, and maybe some classic penetration. Then you graduate to like a romantic three-way. And anything after that, you're in the wilderness. Can't help you. Gang bang, DP, casting couch, anal fisting, bestiality, specifically horse porn, fruit involvement. I don't know, man. Hand job only. What are you doing, man? You can't have a little, problem, dog. Mother daughter. You can't have a problem. Problem is, there isn't, there isn't enough porn out there for me. I'm pretty sure everybody can attest to that. What does a test mean? Like, uh, like you take a test. Your porn IQ. What's your real IQ? Seventy-five. What's your porn IQ? One fifty. Who's your favorite porn star? Albert Einstein. Take it from me, bro. Don't ever click on related videos. It's a trap. You're one related video away from watching hentai rape porn. Swords and genies, Goku from Dragon Ball Z, lightning coming out instead of jizz. Sometimes I don't even jerk off to it. I just sit there and watch it and eat spaghetti and jerk off. Sign me up. Sounds great. See you there. See you in church. You ever been caught in the act though? Several times. Hey, Doc, you want to go get lunch? What's up, bro? What are you standing like that for? What? I'm not. Alright, man. I'll catch you later. You want to go get lunch? Right, can I get some more cereal? This is like a thing for you now? How old were you when you started watching porn? Uh, I mean, you know, like give or take. Give or take what? Like, a f like a 11. <laughs> give or take 11. When someone asks you how old you were, you can start doing something. You just say a number. Okay, 84. One day I, I realized that I got scrambled boobs. Scrambled porn, Spice Channel. I would sit there for two to three to four hours a day just staring, looking for nipples. I was pretty, I was pretty into boobs for a while, you know, before I like graduated to vaginas. The infomercials for Girls Gone Wild, boobs.com, Google, sex, pictures of vaginas. And after that, it was basically just uh, downloading nudie pics on Kazaa. I used to be embarrassed about looking at porn. Now, I don't even care. When I'm alone in my room with my porn, nothing else matters. Not my team and all that bullshit. Those 15 minutes or less, I'm free. Yo, Don, you coming out? Yeah, yeah, see you at church!